Hello everyone, so my name is Sebastian Pütz from uh, Osnabrück University. So I'm a PhD student there uh, in the Knowledge Based System Group. And that's my colleague here, uh, Jorge Santos Simon from Magazino. And we work together uh, on MoveBase Flex. And we want to, inter to introduce MoveBase Flex as a highly flexible navigation framework. And why MoveBase Flex? So if you look on the left side, it's uh, we have a static um, sequence of behaviors, uh, recovered behaviors, and that is really st uh, really static and uh, not uh, flexible. And if you think about the old move base, uh, it's yeah limited in its uh, functionality. And if you see at the code, it's all located in one C++ file, and also the internal state machine is located there, hard coded. And if you look at the right side, we have a much more complex scenario here, uh, which is a behavior tree from Magazino. And also at the university in Osnabrück, we needed a more extendable framework for other map representations as well. So what are the core features? Um, mainly, we, have, we are fully backwards compatible with the current uh, navigation stack. So that means you could use your uh, current, currently existing uh, navigation um, components like the planners, the local planners, and the global planners, and the recovery behaviors, and it will work with our move based flex. And we also provide actions for the submodules planning, controlling, and recovering, and services to query the cost maps. Um, that means you are able to uh, do your navigation task with something like an like an external. Uh, executive logic like uh, Smach or at Magazino, they use um, the behavior tree, or you could just write your own. And then we have uh, com comprehensive result and feedback information on all actions, including error code and message from the loaded plugins. That means if there is something going wrong um, or an obstacle passes through, um, the planner or the, the developers or the, the planners or controllers could, um, yeah, give some feedback information, error codes, or error messages, which then could be used in the external um, executive logic for reacting on that. And we have also a separation between an abstract navigation framework and concrete implementation. That is really useful for um, having other map representations like yeah, uh, 3D occupancy grid maps or if you think about um, navigation on meshes, that's also possible with move-based flags. Okay, let's go more to more, more into the detail. Here we see the architecture now. It's a lot, yes, um, but we concentrate first on the blue box here. This is uh, this is interface for uh, the external executive logic. So, namely the actions here. We provide these actions as mentioned for planning, controlling, and recovering. So we have the get pass, uh, uh, exec pass, and the uh, recovery. Here, the get pass, yeah, for from for uh, computing a pass from the goal uh, from a, from the start post to the goal post, and exec pass then executes that pass. Um, and if there is maybe there's something uh, uh, happen or something went wrong, then we could uh, react on that and call the recovery. Uh, method of the recovery action, a spe specific one. And to wrap that up, we have the map uh, move base action here. So the move base action just um, do it all together, like in a old move base fashion, first uh, planning, then controlling, and if it's necessary, um, calling a static sequence of recovery behaviors. And on the uh, Bottom side, you see is the services and uh, are provided for querying cost maps. That is on the move base implementation level below the uh, dotted line. Okay, let's say I, I, I had said um, it's also compatible with the current move base. So we um, provide here a um, legacy API support, which is mainly a Python script. Um, having here the servers uh, make plan, as you already know, I think. And we have the action, the old, uh, old move base action, which just, uh, which just wraps 
the new move base action, which is much more powerful. And we have the simple goal um, topic here. You could publish a goal in Arbus and it will, that will work. Okay, let's concentrate on the upper, uh, upper side here, on the things um, above the dotted line. So all the abstract execution classes contain the main execution logic. Um, so everything is, is stored here and um, there's no binding to any um, map representation. So um, that enables us a really new system. And we could also think about yeah, navigating uh, with drones, with syst systems, or navigating on uh, surfaces, uh, like using me meshes. If we go more in detail here, just for a short, um, it's based on abstract execution class already set. And the interfaces in the NAVCore inherit the abstract interfaces. That means we have still the same interfaces for your plugins. So, um, but at the same time, we provide much richer interface, uh, much, rich inter much richer interface, and um, that enables you as developers, for example, uh, to give more, uh, more meaningful or more, more uh, valuable information uh, back to the executive logic. Um, like something went wrong, and then you can react on that and call a specific recovery behavior or whatever. Okay. And then we have the specific implementation here below the dotted line. Um, so move base is just a particular uh, implementation uh, of the navigation system. And we also provide a simple navigation server which, which does not have, um, which does not has any binding for map representation. So you could use that for yeah, navigating in 3D or whatever. And now we see that in total again, here, uh, you, if you look at the middle, there's the abstract navigation server, which observes the abstract planner execution, the abstract controller and execution, and the abstract recovery execution. So it's more, more or less a small safety system here. And it's really working. You can see it here. We use it with a standard global planner and a DBA local planner. It's a small robot uh, at our university in the sixth floor. So on the right side, you see a SMAR system. Um, and it's now recovering. And if the recovering it's just drives backwards, if it's succeeded, then it goes to the get pass and immediately to the exec pass again. Um, and you will see it just execute the pass. And then if there is something not optimal, so the controller is not uh, working perfectly, then it goes in, into the recovery and then back to the get pass. Um, that is a really simple smart here. You could have a much more complex system here uh, if you need that for your application or for your uh, yeah, robot. It always depends on your, on your system, on your robot, what do, you, what do you need here. So that's just to show that it's possible and working. And I already mentioned that it's, it is working without, uh, with other, without, so without uh, cost maps. So it's working with other map representations. That is a project of mine in the, at the university, um, map, uh, mesh navigation. So you see it's also working with mesh navigation. All, and we also use the SMOG system here on the right side. Yeah, that's outdoor, um, a robot. Um, called Pluto, um, yeah, it works too. Now my colleague will go on with uh, how to start with uh, move base flex. Ah, uh, okay, good. Thank you, Sebastian. So, okay, so now I'll put the thing to work. So how to use uh, move base flex. So as Sebastian already said, uh, we have made an effort to make it uh, completely backward compatible. So to minimize the um, reluctance of people to start using it, so you can just unplug remove base, unplug move base less, and it's gonna work. But of course, this is boring because we'll, you will win nothing. So still, as he said, you can also have a monolithic uh, navigation action that bring you from A to B. 
but the things start getting interesting when, when you start using the, the different action for the global planner, local planner, recovery behaviors. Um, to exploit this, we provide in the, in the wiki already a SMAC tutorial that works is the basic functionality of current move base uh, just implemented in as a state machine, as a SMAC. And we will provide more tutorials for, especially for migrating. So if you want to create your own uh, navigation framework based in our abstract uh, scaffolding. And then I will, so of course the power here is that you can use any executive that you want to so call it a scripting or as we do in Magachino, uh, behavior trees. And I'm gonna concentrate in behavior trees because it's what I'm doing currently in Magachino. So um, what we do in, with move, move base flex, uh, we uh, check, so we use the service provided by, for checking the goal pose. So we don't try to plan to somewhere that is already in collision or we don't uh, try to plan if we are already in a collision pose. Um, we minimize the number of times we call to the global planner because it's expensive and takes time. So, um, but by other hand, for the same reason that this is slow, we can we can start in parallel and do a long-term plan with a lot of allocating time and, and at the same time plan fast and start moving to and stitch the the good long-term plan into the current navigation. Um, we call now the right recovery behavior for the current task and for the current error. As he said, now we get a rich information from the plugin. So now we know the local planner failed because the path is blocked or because uh, it's in, robots is in collision or whatever. And as we saw in his video, we can now introspect what's happening with navigation. If we are planning, we are moving, if we are recovering, and we will see also the equivalent in, uh, with behavior trees. Um, in Magazzino, uh, this is a part of the navigation behavior tree we are using now. Um, it's much bigger, but don't need to enter into details. Well, I introduce you our fancy robot Toru. as a quite heavy heavy beast and a bit nasty for navigation because it's not, it's differential drive, but it's not, the, the differential drive is not in the center of the robot and it's relatively long, it's rectangular shape, you see the footprint. Um, I'm gonna show this in action with, uh, with a short video with three, three sketches. The first, we saw how we avoid planning. Um, Minimizing the minimizing the the waste of time when something, for example, cross the the current path. How we save uh, useless call to the planner when the start pose or the goal pose is in collision, and how we escape for a collision. So abort the current navigation, call a, the appropriate recovery behavior, and then resume the the navigation. Okay, so here we go. Avoid replanning. So the robot is the robot is just following a, a trajectory, and a nice guy uh, is about to cross in front of the robot. The idea is uh, I'm not pretending to show that we don't cross uh, over a guy. I'm just showing that we don't trigger the replanning. We just call the appropriate recovery. Here again, we start and we send a, a goal that is in collision. So what we do? Nothing we save the time to call the global plan. Now we say a legitimate goal, and but we are in collision. So instead of a start planning, we move auto collision. Now the recovery is executing the yellow box in the tree. And okay, we are free now, and we can plan and go. And here we are uh, following, a, following a plan. And oh, surprise. Uh, we cross over my good friend, and again, we call the recovery behavior that brings out of collision, and once this is complete, we call again the planner and the local planner. So we have uh, saved the time of calling uh, stupidly all the recovery behaviors in sequence until one recovery 
uh, works. So, um, so far so good. This is an ongoing project. We have a already finished implementation that we have been using in Magazino for several months and also in the University of Osnabrück. But we, we, we keep developing this. So we are now, well, we plan to release as soon as possible, probably October. Um, but we have many ideas in mind how, how to improve this. And one of the things we think is going to be really good is integrate the grid map from the ETH from Zurich. Probably many of you know, but we, we have very good initial experience and we are working on, already on integrating it in move base flex, replace the all good uh, cost map. And many other things that we don't know still we priority will give, but will be cool to have uh, provide the goal with a set of planners that you can use and maybe try in sequence or try in parallel and vote the best solution or whatever. Um, so yeah, select um, a runtime, why not? Um, pause, resume the navigation, it's simple, but it's gonna be useful. And something we, we have discovered at Magazino that we really need is uh, plans with waypoints. Um, and we are hearing for your proposal and ideas. Uh, uh, yeah, lo uh, looking forward for him any idea, the, any feature that you will you always dream to have in the all good move base, and now maybe it's the the right time to to get it. Um, just I invite you to go to the wiki. You will find here the the tutorials. The tutorial by now, but it's going to change soon. Uh, to the GitHub and open issues if you have any really cool feature that you would love to have here. And I cannot finish without saying, oh, surprise, we are hiding. <laughs> um, yes, cannot go into details, but I invite you if you are interested or just curious or go to our booth and there you can talk with uh, Moritz or with myself and we will, we will be happy to hear from you. Um, that's all. Any questions, suggestions, critics? All right, just wait for some people. Head to the mics if you've got a question. I was wondering just, so at the moment you have one tutorial is for the Smash executive, no tutorials at the moment for behavior trees, but is that something that you're working towards? Yeah, the tutorial is a, a smart uh, stay machine. Just very simple. Just a, to give a starting point to possible user to how to start doing building up something more complex and uh, amazing. Looks like we have a question on its way. Come on, don't be shy. <laughs> so. Uh, say I had a, a robotic application where instead of uh, uh, a goal pose and orientation, I was more interested in a goal region. Would I be able to, to implement something like that using move base flex? If not, what would you recommend? Sorry, I didn't get it. <laughs> Can you repeat? Oh, sure. Um, uh, approach to the microphone. It, it, if, yeah, it, it, oh, I'm sorry. If I had a, a robotic application where I was more interested in a goal region, say I wanted the robot to end up in a room rather than at a specific pose, is that something I could do with MoveBase Flex? Or if not, well, what would you recommend? Uh, actually, we implemented uh, something like a goal tolerance. Uh, but yeah, we could improve that for goal region. Just open an issue, we will do that. Well, I just want to mention that, uh, oops, sorry. <laughs> well, move base Flex is just a, it's a framework. So the, the, the idea is that we, we give you the tool and you build on top your super fancy, super sophisticated uh, navigation behavior. So. Well. Fantastic, then. Let's thank our speakers again.